Hello. Today, I'm gonna show you how I made this. Before getting started in the illustration, I made some thumbnails to plan the lighting for the composition. These are inspired from one of the shots in Idol's MV called Hua since it reminded me of Ayaka. Moving on to the second step is a speed pane. I painted the fan beforehand so I'm just starting off with the grayscale sketch and slowly rendered the forms. Since this is the early stage, I know some of you might look at the eyes and say Oh my god! What is that? So let's skip that. Nice. Here, I'm adding lighter values to her face because I want it to seem like it's being lit by a spotlight, while also slowly blending it with the rest of her face. Yeah, I drew the sleeve details upside down. Shh, don't tell anyone. So I fixed it. At the face when the grayscale painting looks decent, I start to separate them into different layers to make them easier to work with. To add color to the skin, I use layer blending modes since the values has been set in the beginning already. Features like liquify and color balance also helps a lot in the process, which I'm sure some other softwares also have and not just Photoshop. I start adding details to the kitsune mask she wore at the festival with the traveler. Speaking of the mask, I wish that MiHoYo let players to keep it as a gadget. It would be so cool. And here I hit the hand layer to see the mask better. So now it looks like she has a neon pink lightsaber holding on to her mask. Right now, I'm selecting her skin area to turn it to a blue underpainting for her skin to add more depth to the colors. I recheck how the values work with the colors by turning the color layer off and on. Next step is adding details of the gold and colors for her outfit. I also use more blending modes to add finishing touches like color dots.
On to the final step is animation. Most professionals usually use softwares like 2D Live, Spine, or After Effects to animate a detailed illustration for things like splash art. But since I don't know how to use those, I'm just gonna be using Photoshop for this. I'm not gonna go too detailed about the process since I'm still a beginner in animation, but I'll try my best to explain what I'm doing. Here I separated the three fans into its own layers to animate them individually. Then I test them to see if the turning animation looks well. If it looks stiff, I add more in-betweens. Which took hella long. Here I'm selecting the fan and copying it to the next frame, and added a slight rotation, then I adjusted the frame arrangement for the fan animation. Not the whole fan animation, I meant just the fan. That is used in the animation, you know what I mean. To fill the empty part of the fan in-betweens, I use Liquify to stretch the fan and make the process faster. There's not much for me to say anymore since the animation process is rather repetitive, so enjoy the speed up animation with the background music.
And now, it's time for the final result. Which I added stock clips at the power of editing to distract you from my mistakes. Enjoy. Kamisato Ayaka, present. <laughs> Delighted to make your acquaintance. And that's it from me in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and comment down below what type of content you wish to see from me in the future or if you guys have any suggestions. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see my other artworks and some sneak peeks of future videos, go follow my socials. Links are in the description. For now, I'm gonna go play tic-tac-toe to cope from spending too much time on this Ayaka fan art. Bye!